what's up? What's up? It's your boy King Lockett. What's going on? Hey, what's happening with you? Um, I'm going to put Passport Puka on in just a minute. But first, I want you guys to check out this video by O'Shea Dude Jackson. Big up to O'Shea Dude Jackson. Um, he's basically talking about Passport Puka versus Passport Bros. Passport Puka um, versus um, Educated Running. But uh, hey, man, uh, I would like to give my... Uh, response reaction to this video. I had a lot of brothers saying, "Hey man, won't you react to this video?" Uh, so I decided to do so. And also, guys, I will be doing a lot more reaction videos. So hey, check this video out. This video, this video uh, is for educational purposes only. It is my, not my original video. It's O'Shea Duke Jackson video. I put it in the description. I don't know if O'Shea want to come back and penalize me. I don't give a shit. I don't get nothing off YouTube anyway. So it's all good. Uh, so yeah, man. Hey, man. Y'all check it out. Tell me what you think, man. Hit the like button and I'll subscribe, man. You know it's a it's trending right now about passport bros traveling everywhere and uh, and going through these different situations uh, because of women in America and why they left. So I'm gonna be talking a lot more about that also because I guess I am considered a passport bro. I, I've been living overseas now for going on almost four years. So hey, y'all take it easy, man. Check the video out. Let's see what's going on. Let's get this dive right into it. Let's go. I, I want to talk about something important today because, you know, there is this situation that is happening online in the black male spaces, and that is this whole Pookie and Ray Ray versus the educated Ronnie. All right. And we call him educated Ronnie because he represents. Uh, the black man that is a nine to five worker. He's a guy that might be, you know, technically trained. He might be, um, he could even be truck driver, college graduate, um, MBA holder. He represents that side of black America, which is a lot of black men that's on that side. But if you want to talk about the guys who are kind of more at the cream of the crop, um, I would say the black men who are in the top 25 percentile earning amongst black men, that higher uh, percentile, um, which is really not so hard to reach. A lot of brothers reach that towards um, the 40s and the 50s uh, of that age range. Um, You know, there's a sort of idea that, you know, that the, the Pookies and the Ray Rays are the kind of, you know, um, the prison guys, the guys who were in gangs. The kind of hustler guys have a real problem. And the only time you really see it as a problem, if you guys get them on the same stream, you know, if they're on the same YouTube live chat or in the comment section, but the reality, there is no real problem with Pookies and Ray Rays in educated black men. It's non-existent. You might have some, you know, things that are said here and there, but there's not really any problem. There only becomes a problem when one thing happens. And that is when a black woman um, it can go in between both types of men. Okay? That's the only time. All right? Or if you have a black man who is trying to appeal to the lower class. Now, I want to give a good example of, of this, there is a, a, a dentist, okay, that was, um, he was shot last year in Dallas. Hey, big shout out to O'Shea Duke Jackson. No disrespect to him. This video right here is uh, O'Shea um, Duke Jackson video. I'm only just uh, using it for educational purposes and also to react to it. I don't know if I did that right or wrong, but um, I don't, it, it really don't even matter. Um, yeah, so basically he went on to talk about this dentist that got shot and, um, because he was trying to appeal to a lower class by dressing like a Puka and Ray Ray, acting like a Puka and Ray Ray, but having a career as educated running. But see, what O'Shea failed to realize is that even there are a lot of Pukis and Ray Rays because I am a reformed Puka and Ray Ray. So if anything, I'm Puka and Ray Ray also. Passport Pookie, because I've been in prison. Um, I've lived that thug life, that rapper life, that dope boy life, that pimp lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? And, but I've always had the privilege and 
to go after any type of woman I want, high class, low class, lawyers, doctors, and was very successful at doing so. It really didn't matter. See, that's what that's what he failed to realize. O'Shea, no disrespect to O'Shea, Duke Jackson, but he failed to realize that it, it's based on the man. You see what I'm saying? Put, it, there are a lot of people who I know from the block, from the hood, that can't seem to get past the block in the hood. Then they ain't gonna never meet uh, a Kim Kardashian or, or, or Oprah Winfrey or. But they're not. They're never gonna meet a woman that that's that's on another level. Because one thing about women, women like what they like. It doesn't matter if you're educated, running passport, Pookie, Pookie, and Ray Ray. A woman mentality and psyche is built on what appeals to her senses. When you appeal to a woman's nature, her senses, you're gonna win every time. It doesn't matter if you're making over ten hundred thousand million dollars a year or you're making a dollar a year. If you can appeal to her senses, women are feelers. You're going to win every time. That's what you guys fail to realize. See, Pookie and Ray Ray understand that. The Pookie and Ray Ray understand that at a very young at a very young age, at a very beginning stages of life. Pookie and Ray Ray understand that. That at a very, very young age, pimps understand this. When pimps in the streets, this is how pimps uh, uh, um, um, coerce a woman of, uh, 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 talk a woman into or uh, love a woman into or uh, feeling a woman into going out there selling herself risking her life of catching all kind of horrific diseases and viruses risking her life of being killed and robbed and maybe hurt by one of these tricks or joins out there just to turn around and give her money to a man that's barely even having sex with her and has more women. Why? Because he appealed to her senses. So y'all trying to appeal to the mindset and using your pockets and using what you make. That's what educated running go wrong at every time. That's why educated running, he might have his woman in the house and they might be, you know, married happily. He got this high class woman and then passport Puka or Puka Ray Ray, the yard man, or the guy pulling up changing the pipes so the personal trainer that came in and knocked off having a whole real life affair with her because it's more exciting. He's appealing to his senses. He know how to poetize his presence, poetize his presence. He know how to uh, dialogue with her in such a way that turns her on. He know how to keep the spice going forever because he's he's wrapped in mysterious uh, mystery, you know. So that's that what you got to understand, um, uh, O'Shea Duke Jackson. See, there'll never be a war or any type of animosity between Pookie and Ray Ray and, 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 and the educated running. There's Even if educated running is on, quote-unquote, you say, Pookie and Ray Ray playing field with the women because he's scooping, he, he going to a lower class, that ain't got nothing to do with Pookie and Ray Ray. Pookie and Ray Ray don't have a class. Pookie and Ray Ray shoot at anything. And I'm speaking for myself. Now, I don't know how many other Pook and Ray Rays out there like this Pook and Ray Ray right here. You understand what I'm saying? I go shoot it. I'm in the DR right now. You understand what I'm saying? I don't. And one thing about me being in the DR, let me tell you something. I'm in the Dominican Republic right now. I've been living here going on four years now. One thing I do not do is play in Sasua, Boca Chica, um, any of those areas where there's sex tourism at. The feminists would have been came at me a long time ago, trust me. The way they did the boy over there in Colombia or Brazil, you understand what I'm saying? You know, I don't I don't play in those areas. You know, my girls are doctors, lawyers. I, I got high, you. You're not you. You can't make these girls. You, uh, you uh, hey, listen. You can't make these girls take some money for a little time that I deal with. You understand what I'm saying? So these guys come out here, the passport bros, all of these guys, and you know, and I'm part of the passport bros group too. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not a part of that that, that trend of uh, coming out here sexualizing and in in, in, in exploiting these people. I exploit the land, the businesses, and stuff like that. But not the people. You understand? So, I say this to say, Passport Pookie ain't got to pay for none of that stuff these guys paying for. You understand what I'm saying? You understand me? Yeah, let Passport Pookie talk right now. Yeah. I ain't got the... Man, look here, man. I'm not paying for none of that. I don't have to pay for none of that. You understand what I'm saying? I simply go introduce myself as a gentleman, 
speak to them like they're human beings, high class women, medical students, medical grads, doctors, active nurses, active dentists. You understand what I'm saying? Facts, proven. And we have a normal encounter, normal relationship, a normal situation, drop dead gorgeous. Look, man, listen, man. Y'all got to miss me with all that. I, I, I rock with your O'Shea Duke Jackson, but y'all got it all twisted, man. You understand what I'm saying? See, you got to categorize. See, when you categorize Puka and Ray Ray, well, you, you already categorized it. So now it fits my description, so I had to stand up and bite the bait. They say if a hit dog, don't, if a hit dog holler, uh, if the dog holler, the dog must hit. A hit dog, a hit dog will holler. That's why I'm, that's why I'm, whoop, 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 whoop. A hit lion is Rory right now. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the lions then also. Because the thing about it is this here. The way you put the description, being in prison, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, live a certain type of lifestyle, that fits me. See, what you what, what, what I think you was trying to do was put together something a little lesser than what you said because a lot of guys been in prison. 50 Cent, Tupac, um, and I guess y'all would consider these Puka and Ray Ray, Nelson Mandela, Jesus Christ, uh, Moses, Paul, um, yeah, they wrote the half, 75% of the New Testament, Jesus Christ, um, Peter got the death sentence, one of his disciples, what are you saying, man, uh, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, um, yeah, man, I keep going, man, I keep going. Yeah, man, I keep going. All the prolific leaders in this country done been in prison. Or in America done been in prison. Political prisoners. You understand what I'm saying? Hey, Puka and Ray Ray's in the chain game protecting Running when he bring his ass in there. When Running come in there, educated Running come to prison or jail for a speeding ticket or he got to sit in there 30 days because he forgot the, that he had a ticket in Atlanta and he had to ride through Atlanta and he forgot and they got him on a 30-day bench warrant in the jail. So they take a brother like me that ran the chain game. They're thinking outside the box. They monop monopolize the system. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Political prison. Like, y'all ain't finna touch. Man, I got a story, man. I'll tell them another, another, another. Y'all like, share, subscribe, man. Pairport Puka in the house. You understand what I'm saying? We finna talk about this thing. And Pairport Puka traveling. Pairport Puka doing his thing. You understand what I'm saying? Living a good life out of prison. You understand what I'm saying? But educated running didn't have shit to worry about when he came to prison. You understand what I'm saying? Because we weren't letting that happen to him. Because we knew he wasn't built for that. So educated running was protected by Padport Puka and Ray Ray. You understand what I'm saying? Matter of fact, my name is Ray out here for real. It means king in Spanish. King Lockett. Ray is what they call me for real. Ain't that a coincidence? So I should change it from Padport Puka to Padport Ray. I like the Puka shit better. Yeah, yeah, I like that better, man. So, yeah, I'm stepping up to that, man. I'm finna, yeah, we finna go and get this thing and do it the right way. You understand what I'm saying? Thank you for um, bringing me on out. I need to talk about this stuff. But listen, man, so that's what you fail to realize. Y'all fail to realize that Padport Puka ain't out here paying into the sex trafficking, the sex business, and sex tourism. No, Padport Puka living a good life with some of their best, the cream of the crop of the Dominicans. Dominican women, women with money, women that if I take back to America, she's making over eight hundred thousand, five hundred thousand a year. You understand what I'm saying? School is transferable to Atlanta. All records. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, 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 Bioanalysis, dental dent dentists, brain surgeons, heart surgeons, specialists, MDs. Yeah, man. Uh, real estate agents, real estate investors, brokers. You understand what I'm saying? Families that own stuff got wealth in the Dominican Republic. Classy women, beautiful women, natural women. You see what I'm saying? See what y'all traveling out? What they traveling out here for? What the what the educated runners ain't that, that damn educated? Because they traveling out here doing what? What? Okay, let me say this right here. You said that educated runners lowering themselves by going to a lower class women in America and stepping on the territory of Padua Puka. Where the roads change overseas, homie. My brother, educated running, Padport Puka is messing with the highest class of women here while the Padport, I'm about the educated runners is all in Sasua running around with their head cut off, chasing behind ass, 
that every man on the planet, literally, UK, Canada, France, America, Jamaica, every man on the planet them been ran through, and they probably paying top dollar, two hundred dollars an hour, three hundred dollars an hour, just to drink this Pepsi or just to bite into this mango. You understand what I'm saying? When Pat put Puka sitting here chilling, just going on a little date, a dinner date, you know what I'm saying, provide some flowers, you know what I'm saying, and then everything is everything, man, having real relationships, real situations out here. You understand what I'm saying? See, the thing about it is, Pat put Puka's and Ray Ray's are never beef with uh, educated runners, unless educated runner running the house and catch Puka laid up with his woman. You understand what I'm saying? Catch me laid up with his woman when he when, while he while he trying to pay all these bills and do all this stuff, and his woman wants some of that good, you know what I'm saying, good good energy, strong masculine energy in the life. You understand what I'm saying? Real masculine energy in the life. Then that's when uh, then uh, then if, then if educated running jump, then you know like a frog, then he'll get popped, or stepped on, or smashed, or smushed. You understand what I'm saying? That's just how it is. You know, other than that, there wouldn't be no problems. Usually, when they, when I'm in situations like this, when an educated runner step in the house and, and he know that I'm coming out of being, one thing I don't do is mess with married women. If the woman ain't legally married through the church and the government, then hey man, hey man, hey man, hey yeah, what it is? You understand what I'm saying? You really care about it? Going to lock her all the way in? You know what I'm saying? And and I'm just I'm just giving you my perspective from a pad put puka way, you know, because I've reformed and actually personally, I've. Jumped into a whole nother type of situation and got my life all the way together. But however, you know, I'm still rough around the edge and I still come from that background. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so I had to go ahead and jump on that bait. And even in prison, you know what I'm saying? Myself ran it totally. And if anybody can oblige to anything I'm saying or contest anything I'm saying, just like that boy Charleston White say, shout out to him. Hey, make sure you leave a comment and put me on blast if you was in Georgia State Prison. Know that I went to Alpha the Alphas. Me and my crew, you understand what I'm saying? On top of everything, making money, having women, you understand what I'm saying? To me, it was so it was like being in the free world. I'm eating real food. I'm not. I'm, listen, man, it's a whole nother ball game. So I just wanted to say that you got to kind of like be careful because there are some exceptional brothers out there that's really, 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 really meant to be on top. You understand what I'm saying? No matter what the background is, like I said, man, a lot of people don't been in prison who was leaders of this country, leaders of this world. And we can start out as early as Moses. We can go beyond Moses and go to um, and go to Jacob. You know, Isaac, before he turned into Jacob, before he wrestled with the angel. You know what I'm saying? His brothers, I mean, his sons, you know, he had the 12, he had them 12 boys. You know what I'm saying? One of those boys, Joseph, went into the prison system. And Joseph was trying to hide from them brothers. But Joseph is a key, a, a key creator, a key player in our existence out here. You understand what I'm saying? You know, even with you out there being in Africa right now. You understand what I'm saying? Hey, hey, all this right here is where they played at. You got to understand right there, Africa is in prison right now still. You understand what I'm saying? So look, man, even the man who tried to put Africa together as one currency, Nelson Mandela, uh, 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 and, and, and a lot of more other prolific. So we start way back as Joseph, go to Moses. You know, I keep going, Ezekiel. I keep going, Noah. I keep going. All the way up to Jesus, all the way up to these days. You see what I'm saying? Malcolm and Martin Luther King. All these guys been to prison. So all these guys are pookies. But we they was the ones who changed their life. Shout out to NFAC leader, uh, Grandmaster Jay, because I am a standing Black Panther also. Because past, because educated red ain't got the nuts and the balls stand out here on the front line. And wrestle with the government. See, I didn't come out here to the Dominican Republic because black women in America wouldn't treat me right. Although I can talk about what they doing to y'all Negroes or them Negroes. But I ain't never have a problem with the sisters in America. But I can still talk about the things that, you know, may be an issue, you know, as far as their masculinity now. And a lot of these men are becoming more feminine. You understand what I'm saying? But uh, but I didn't travel out here for that. I travel out here because... I'm against the judicial system, the government killing black folks in the streets. Hey, educated running, get out there and do something, man. Let me see you face one of them cops on them front line. What were you wearing when the protests were going on, brothers? You was in the house watching TV, watching us on the front line. You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, I just want to respond and react to that video, man. It's your boy, King Lockett, a.k.a. At this moment right here, 
not also known as, but we're going to make it known as, in this video, is Passport Pookie, okay? Can you lock it when I'm on my other shit? Passport Pookie when I'm on this shit. Can you lock it when I'm in church, when I'm praising and researching history and out here with the outreach with these kids, these children out here, even in the DR, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I got videos and everything to post them in the DR, even in America. I always been the same. You understand what I'm saying? King Locker when I'm firefighting and, yes, I am a firefighter. When I'm firefighting and rescuing and saving people and stuff like that, that's King Locker. But I'm pad point pooking when it comes to this right here. I'm pooking when it comes to this shit like this, when I got to respond and defend not only myself, but those brothers who have walked and are walking in my path and my shoes as well. All right? So y'all like, share, and subscribe. You understand what I'm saying? And, um, and leave a comment in the comment column. You got anything you want to say this right here, man. But I just want to leave this quick video right here. Hey, shout out to O'Shea Duke Jackson. Uh, if y'all don't know who he is, you must have been up on the rock. Make sure you like, share, and also subscribe to O'Shea Duke Jackson. That's a good brother. But I had to respond. And I'm going to respond to all his passport pookies and all his pookie content. I'm going down the list right fucking now. And I'm going to respond to all that fucking passport bro shit. Let y'all know the real out here, man. You understand what I'm saying? That's facts, man. They needed somebody like me to come on and step up and show y'all what's going on. You understand what I'm saying? Peace out, man. I love y'all. God bless y'all. Stay strong. Stay protected. Keep your family straight. Keep making money. Keep grinding. Hey, man. And stay positive. Stay sucker free, man. Peace. Padport Pookie.